YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here, and welcome back to another episode of Glory Hunter. On today's episode number 60, we have got Blackburn in the third round of the FA Cup. And the main reason I'm giving you this game is I've just got that funny old feeling, because I'm finally live on Twitch with Glory Hunter, that if I don't give this game as a YouTube game, I'm going to get FM'd. Since we last met, we played in the semi-final first league of the Cabaret Cup, and well, that's a game we're going to have to recap. We've also been flying in the league, so I think that's uh, us finishing sixth and throwing it all away sort of thing is not going to happen this year, because, well, we need Arsenal, Spurs, West Ham and Man City to start closing that gap, and we need to start losing games, and this team is just too good to do that. Since we last met, though, links are down in the description. Welcome to the Twitch uh, lads in the Twitch dashboard there on screen. Please come check us out. We had BMOS50 from the YouTube. Check us out. And, uh, you know, there's some nice comments in there. And if you do want to leave a comment, link down below. Leave it in the YouTube section. Helps promote the video. Without further ado, let's get into what we have seen since we last met, which, of course, was the Arsenal Man United doubleheader. Uh, we've lost one game in the Prem. That was to Chelsea, who are absolutely rampant on this save. We knocked Wolves out in the Cabaret Cup quarterfinal. We beat Spurs. We then get through the massive run of fixtures and then against Palace. Oh boy, did we get FM'd. In a game where we had 31 shots, 15 on target, an XG of over four, where usually you outscore your XG. Every time Palace had a highlight, they scored. We did fully rotate, so we had 100% full strength for this Blackburn game. But after witnessing this game and seeing us nearly get FM'd, and us playing away from home, even though I'm going full strength against uh, Blackburn, which I will be going full strength in every FA Cup game, unless we get a League 2 side or something at some point, um... Yeah, I'm going to do most of these games for YouTube just to make sure we document it and because uh, this is the main crux of the season. I just want to have a look at the data hub just to complain a little bit further of the last match. Um, yeah, look at that. Palace scored a goal here where they were getting smattered. A goal right on half time in the 47th minute that, you know, yeah, it should have been, you know, half time over. Um, and a goal right at the end which. Made no sense for them to dominate in the 90th minute. But yeah, it, it is what it is. We are a very good footballing side. We are obviously predicted to finish inside the top four. Um, you're still predicted to play a diamond, even though I'm not going to. But we're doing a very good job. I'm hoping at some point that we lose a few games. You know, I'm hoping at some point I can throw a game against Spurs and throw a game against Liverpool and City and then obviously be okay. Are we close enough to finish sixth? Because I don't want to go out there. I've had a few people in my chapters tell me, play the kids, get rid of it, and do it. But that will make my main core players upset, and I need them for the Europa League if we were to make it there next season. Without further ado, though, let's talk about the team that we are here to uh, look at. Um, it's Kat Kersau makers, Mugala, Lacroix, and Sergio, who is doing a very fine job since coming in the uh, Brazilian international. Please note, Sal Makers has just had a bid from City for 51 mil, not planning on selling him. I'm going to hold him out for ransom. Sivert, Bellingham, and Tisney, who, by the way, is now a four star center attacking mid. Yes, he is that good. Yes, he is fantastic. Oh, he's only going to get better um, as well. We've got Brown on the right. We've got Isaac on the left. We've got Osman up top. The one thing I'll say about Brown is that his form's a little bit whatever. I'm actually going to give this game to Lee Roy Sane because his form has been extraordinarily good. Uh, with that being said, that is your lineup. It's a very full strength side against Blackburn. Burger, welcome to a YouTube episode and welcome to the Twitch chat. Burger, one of our regular users. It's the away game against Blackburn. We nearly got FM'd in the Cabaret Cup set. So before on the first leg, I've got the hiccups, which generally seems to happen whenever I'm short of breath. So let's get straight into it. Tisney's looking great. Oh yeah, man, he's developed very, very, very well. Now let's go into this team. It's a massive game. We can't afford to get FM. I want to see us get pumped. For those that are, want to ever interact like this, the Twitch link's down below. We'll give the episode a like and subscribe, um, of course, and I've started doing my podcast life again with Paul, so go check that out as well. Um, we're in a pretty good position here. Let's see. They're lining up at the five at the back. That doesn't bode well because that's generally a lot, pretty hard to break down. But we have got a lot of quality there as well. No real names by Luca Dean, who's there at 34, that I really notice. Um, Lewis Travis. Still looks pretty decent, to be fair, as well. Woodbine's on loan from Liverpool. I know who you are as well. We need to watch out for him. And they've got the Chilean international and Diaz. So, yeah. Okay. They're going to be plucky. Well, way against Blackburn, they're not in the greatest form, as you can see there. We're obviously in the uh, normal, you know, black and white. Blackburn, obviously, with the blue uh, on screen. And without further ado, let's get underway and see what happens here. We cannot afford to lose this game. It's as simple as put. This, this is 
this is the whole reason we came here was to win this FA Cup. So this game is giving me anxiety because we should win nine times out of ten. But FM loves producing some shock results in the FA Cup. So yeah. And as we say, there's Woodbines in the Liverpool uh, loney and we should have been 1-0 down. Shoulda, coulda, weren't, thank Christ. Cut Kerr, come and claim, please. 10 minutes in, we should have been 1-0 down to Blackburn. Ball in back stick, cleared away, only as far as Leonard. Hoping that that's the end of the highlight, really, is that ball gets switched out to Buckley. He's got space. Leonard's at the back stick, cleared away. We need to get through this highlight. We're under immense pressure. They're in the area now. Isaac with a tackle, no penalty given, gets bumped away. That is not the start you want to see from a Newcastle side against a championship side at all. That was absolutely battering to watch. First 20 minutes, Blackburn should be one new up. Let's be honest, that's, that wasn't great. That was not good at all. 30 minutes played. If this game goes to a replay, the replay will be in this episode. More Gala, sale makers. Switches one out there to uh, Sergio. Sergio with a ball and a half looking for Isaac. Keeper came, didn't get there. Alexander Isaac scores. I guess that's the difference. That had one big moment for the Liverpool Loney up uh, top in Woodbridge. He missed, or is it, was it Woodbridge? I think that's his name. Um, Isaac down the other end. He's world class. And that's the main reason why I'm here. I know that even if we don't play well, we've got enough world class players that we should win a one off game most times and not. But yeah, Woodbine, apologies, not Woodbridge. Travis, ball in. Diaz, ball get cleared away by Sergio. Salmaker's heads. Morgala. Sailmakers need some help to get out of this corner. Finds Morgala again. That's a ball and a half to Tisney. Great touch to beat his man. Isaac now picks it up. Sergio, the Brazilian international. Finds Isaac down the line. Tisney's inside of him. Instead, he looked for Osman, who's offside, so don't even get too excited. He's off by a mile. He should have played Tisney, who would have been able to drive inside there. Didn't, though. Still one him up, though. But yeah, if he plays Tisney here, Tisney just runs into this space and does whatever he wants. Instead, he looked for Osman. Which, to be fair, it is Victor Osman. Do what you want. But yeah, not a game where we've dominated, but we do have a 1 0 lead, and that's all that matters. We are 45 minutes away from the fourth round, and it doesn't matter how you win in the FA Cup, by hook or by crook, you will get you will get what you need by winning games of football. Long ball, cleared only as far as Sale Makers. He heads, Sane now heads down back to um, Sale Makers. Sivert, Sale Makers. Morgala, that's poor. We need to be bailed out here. Leonard hits over the bar. Mm -hmm. It's not been good enough out there at all, to be fair. We need a second. This has been nervy. Lacrox hits the bar and it comes out that close to a second. Isaac goes down, never going to be a penalty either. And it gets cleared. Is that the highlight though? Maybe not. They've now gone down the other end. We've lacked control. I haven't done this a lot this year, because I haven't really needed to, but we are struggling. We are struggling. So I'm actually going to go diamond here for 10 minutes. We're just struggling to control this game. So if we can just the middle of the park against the seven at the back, should be okay. Sane's too far out to score. What a free kick it would have been though. Thinking about changes now, but what changes? Free kick here. Oof. Digne, good over a dead ball. The Crocs heads should have been the keepers though. Woodbine looked offside. Woodbine looked offside. This has not been what I expected. This is the main reason I put this game for YouTube because after nearly getting a fed by uh, by Blackburn, by Blackburn, after nearly getting a fed by Palace in the last game. I'm like, if I don't do this game for YouTube, I've got to get FM. At least you guys witness why my anxiety is this high. It's been a weird night on FM. Sane, backstick ball. Brenta Diaz is on the break here. 
holds it up superbly well. He's got numbers ahead of him now, but poor Mugala picks it up. Goes all the way back to Katko, that's fine. Out the other side, please, finds Lacroix. Sergio. Tisney. He's all the way back again. Need a second goal. I'm going to be back to 4-3-3, I think. Just to kind of, you know... Just feel like the 4-3 will keep the ball touch more. But we're knocking it around okay. Just they are hitting us on the break way too often. And here we go again. Sailmakers loses it. We have been sloppy. We have been slow. And they, we deserve to concede. Dinye. Ball in. That's a goal. That's a goal. Sailmakers off a of fring pong. Merlin off a of Serginio. Because I think both of them have had stinkers. Sivitz off a of Bruno. Tisney's had a stinker. Irimoto's going to come in. Brown's coming in. Osimhen out for Isaac. But we can't make that change. Tisney's going to stay out there then as a Mazala and support. Nah, I leave him as an advanced player maker. That's fine. And I'm going to take Osimhen off for Smith Rowe. He's having an outrageously good year. Five changes, absolutely disgusting. It's 1 1. We're not being FM, we've played really poor. I don't understand what's going on. They have better XG than us, but that's because it was a massive chance. I expect to lose from here, to be fair. Lewis Brown hits one. What a free kick. Great save by Kam Kam Kaminsky. This is the big, you can't afford to lose this game. This game sets you back another year in glory hunter. I'll do this twice and you're behind the April. We could even get the sack if we don't do this. If we don't win this game, I can no longer finish sick for us I'll get sacked. So I have to finish in the Champions League. So it kills that idea as well. Bellingham's dead. Can't really do too much here. Alright. We've been good this year, but we'll be able to find out how good we really are. That is poor from Tisney again. Everyone's had a stinker. Smith Roman's a back. He needs some help. Ball and a half. Lewis Brown, Kaminsky, what a save. If we're doing this in the third round, we don't deserve to win the FA Cup. Sorry, we, we don't. Merlin. No one gets there. Tisney could have hit. Isaac decides against hitting it. Tisney! Oh, he's put it wide. Highlight straight away again. Ball goes long. Headed down, Woodbine's there. We win it there, good press there from Smith Rowe to force the mistake. He comes inside now. Isaac makes a run, picks it up. Brown's with him on the other flank. Needs options inside. Smith Rowe's one. Brown, 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 Brown. Lewis Brown, let's go. The man from West Ham's youth intake in season one scores in the 88th minute. What a ball from Isaac. Four around him, finds his pass. Brown's intelligence is to run back on side to receive the ball. Superb. And Smith Rowe, he just picks locks. He's such a good backup player to have. Look at Brown's movement. Runs back on side because he was standing out here before. Come on. Straight away, make some changes. Balanced. Wing back on defend. Pull back on defend. Mazala on support. Lower that tempo. We keep the ball. We're a bit more disciplined. At a minimum, if we get FM late, we're going to at least force a replay at home, which we should win. Done. Time ticks. Everybody breathe a sigh of relief. Everybody take a deep breath in with me. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Well, that got nervy. After having 17 shots, 10 on target, and 58% of the ball, we needed the 87th minute winner from Lewis Brown to beat Blackburn. 2-1 in the third round of the FA Cup. Well, 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 that was a very poor performance. I could slay them, but any time you win in the FA Cup, just praise it and move along. Keeps that hope alive.
That was ludicrously just whatever. That's fine. Um, I want to know where Blackbird were on the table, boys. Blackbird? Anyone? Currently sitting in 12th. <laughs> I don't get me wrong, Diaz is a decent footballer, but he's not Premier League elect. Um, I think the FA Cup draws on the 10th, so we've got to stay alive for that as well, guys. Uh, I've got Palace in the next three days. There's no point giving you this game, that Palace game. I'm probably going to rotate, even though it's away. Wins for Marcus Mansfield Town. I want Mansfield then. That's what we want. We want Mansfield, but we could get anyone. So, yeah. Let's have a look at the match momentum. We dominated most of it, apart from minute one. Glad it was white. I was going to it's white. So, yeah, we dominated our score against the run of play. It didn't feel like we dominated, that's for sure, from the game we watched. Anyhow, FA Cup fourth round draw incoming, and that will depend if we're going to do that as another episode or not. I probably will, just because it's the FA Cup. But yeah, links down below. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a like, do subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, see what we can do here. Is Inter draw again? Say so dude, mate, just, just get out of the club. This guy keeps complaining that he hasn't played enough football. Does it in the YouTube episode? worry about you afterwards. We do have the FA Cup here as well. Valencia is a uh, team I would probably take over in Spain if we had to do stuff. Man City make an ice at B. That's not happening. Has no interest. See you later. It's getting through all the signings. Alright, there should be an FA Cup draw today. Send the assistant to that because we don't care. It's the cover of Cup. Do scouting stuff in a second. Here we go. So our uh, fans want us to get Middlesbrough or Oxford or Fulham. I'm happy with any one of those three. Okay. Let's draw it out. This might take a while though. I wish there was like five times speed. There's 30 teams in draw. Okay, we can't do it this much. It may be the later draw if we get there. I'll give it this one here if we don't get Huddersfield, then yeah. Laugh if we get Huddersfield now. Couldn't pay enough. We didn't. Alright. Advance to your team. Newcastle at home. Pause. Who's left? How many teams? One team left. We're going to get Southampton a hole. We would have come out last. Thank God we did that. So we're going to get Hull or Southampton. So if you have a look at the Premier League table, Southampton are 12. And they uh, have to play Hull in a replay, I would imagine. Yeah, they drew the Hull nil nil. Hull went down to ten men as well. Hull currently second in League One. Come on, Hull. Um, if it's Southampton, I will probably do that as another YouTube episode. That will slot into February. Perfect. There we are. I think that's going to be next episode. That might be a double with an FA Cup, Cabaret Cup final sort of thing. If we make it there, of course, as well. But YouTube, there you go. We have got what we needed to do. We've got through the uh, the third round just. We did not play well at all. Uh, hopefully the boys play better in the next round because we definitely need to. And until next time, thank you very much. Give the episode a like. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Will we win the FA Cup? Based on that performance, I'm going to say no. But this team is good enough to shake that off. And even though we played poor, we won. So hopefully that's a good sign for things to come when we do play well in the FA Cup.